right now actually it's a bit of an exclusive i can get this over here ah yes now about 20 years ago if you were young or just sort of broken from too many nights out raving to drum or indeed bass or anything else uh, or lost in a massive acid jungle then my next guest will have helped you get through that come down it's none other than Anne Steele creator of the belly teddies um I should gotta get this right um, oi hi oi hi <laughs> I could do it. That's good. Yeah. Great to be here. Well, now my son now is he's too old that, uh, to be into uh, belly teddies, but he loved the 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 dream the the lazy dream gazebo. Was that one of yours? I'm glad to say yes. Pinky Trinky says 99. Oh, I, I must admit, I thought uh, Pinky Tranky. Uh, was a bit scary. Uh, that and Wavy Flop Mouse. My wife and I used to joke that they were a gay couple. <laughs> well, you were right, but the BBC said the under four demographic wasn't ready for it. Though I put a subtext in. D did you notice? No. Sorry. What colour was the lamp? Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Very clever. Now, uh, now tell me, uh, how do you feel about the Belly Teddy's reboot? I think one of your fans has wandered in and wants to get an autograph. But uh, anyway, so um, well, yes. Now, how do you feel about the reboot? Yeah, well, Yes. Well, I, I'm not really in charge now. I, I created their magical land in 1995, and yeah. for some reason they brought the show back with the changes, but one thing remained the same. The magic. The money. Oh. <laughs> I still get royalties on the merchandise, books, and any adult versions of the cast that judder if you oh, get yes. uh, drift. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, at least you're happy, because my next guest, well, I think that might have been her earlier on, my next guest isn't. Uh, here is Sally Wood. Hello. See, strong words from Sally. So how do you feel about that, Anne? No, about what? Oh, sorry, Sally, you, you need to say a bit more? She knows. I don't. Well, I do, but... Uh, and so do I. Um, I think... Uh, you, uh, yeah, We need to say what it is. Um, right. Sally claims that you stole her ideas. To what? Uh, the belly teddies, the lazy dream gazebo, all mine. You owe me at least an apology and money. Lots of money and, and, and an apology and money first. Where's your proof? Well, they're on TV the last 20 years. Where's the proof you created it? There. She just said it. You created it. She uh, admits it. Yeah, um. No, I, I was saying, hang on, get this right. Where's your proof I didn't come up with... Oh, no, 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 wait. You didn't invent them, I did, you cow. You didn't invent them, I no, did, no, you no, cow. No, I am afraid you are going to need proof, Anne. What do you mean, me? You, uh, yes, she, where's your proof? She's just accused me of stealing her ideas, but with no evidence. I've got design concepts, original documents dating back to 94, proving that I came up with belly turbans. Yada, yada, yada. Whilst high during a Norfolk open air arts festival, whilst watching comedy rock group, Local band Death Screen Banana. They were singing their composition, Tummy Telly Blues, and I had the idea right there and then. Yeah, and who was the singer? A big hairy bloke called Tim. That was me! Oh, come on, you can't have changed that much in 20 years. I had the op in 2005, but I kept the beard. Look. Oh my, it is you. So, uh, do you think, Sally, you, you might have a case? Yeah. It's where I keep this revolver. <gasps> the album by the Beatles from 1966. Oh, thank goodness. And inside this limited edition is a real revolver. <gasps> a gun. Ah! So, sign over the rights of your CBBC fortune or... Pinky Tranky, kill! <laughs> well, I thought Mr. Tumble had secrets. Oh, yes. Yeah. He is something special. Something very special. 